Okay, what we have here is a 98 uh, Isuzu ro Rodeo, Rodeo, however you want to say it. Uh, it's got a 3.2 liter engine, and besides the obvious or the uh, the all too common intake gasket leak, we also have a problem with our EGL, EGR valve right here. We had a code P, uh, P1404 and P1405 which is one is saying it's stuck closed and the other one says range sensor A out of performance out of range. So what I've done here is I've got my yellow test lead on the power supply to the EGR. First I should explain that a lot of times on these import cars the scan data on a like say a snap-on scanner or whatever you're using isn't isn't very complete and a lot of times there are no there are very few if any functional tests particularly on these older import cars. So what I've done here to test the EGR, I've got my yellow test lead on the power supply to the EGR, so that should show approximately 12 volts. I think we're, our battery is probably a little low right now, so we're not quite getting that. The green test lead here I've got, because this is a linear EGR valve, it, it's duty cycled to hold it at a certain percentage, or pulse width modulated to hold it at a certain certain level or a certain amount to be open at a certain level it uses a uh, 5 volt position sensor for feedback so I've got my green test lead into the into the reference wire that should tell the PCM how far open the EGR valve actually is and then I've got my other test lead here is on the control side of the solenoid of the EGR valve I don't have anything hooked up to that right now so over here on the on the screen we can see We've got oh, about 11.4 volts, our battery's slowly going away here. And we got about 2 volts on the position sensor. And if we flip it over, we could see that uh, our EG EGR valve is actually closed right now. So that 2 volts probably not valid. I think it should be low. And as the EGR valve opens, I think the voltage goes up. I'll have to double check that. But first of all, here I'll show you a quick check of the solenoid whether or not it works or not. This is a nice use for your Vantage because it is an amp meter as well. All you do is you just short the, to control the EGR valve, just uh, ground out the control side of the EGR valve as the PCM would do. And if we look at the Vantage, you could see, it's kind of hard to see on the camera here, but you can see a current ramp. I got it set on a 5 volt scale. Yeah, let's try to turn the back. Well, I don't know if the backlight's going to work. I think the battery's getting low on that too. But now you can see a you can see a current ramp as that EGR valve is opening, and it draws I don't know somewhere around two amps total. Maybe not quite. Maybe an amp and a half. But it's good. I mean, the current ramp is good. There's no problem with the windings and the solenoid. So that's not the problem. And we could hear it clicking, and it was opening. Now just. Uh, Hook this on here to just uh, just to ground it out, keep it open. And if we flip it over there, we could see that the EGR valve, that the plunger there, has has retracted, so it does open and close. The problem we have is that we're still showing two volts here on our position sensor. So basically, the problem isn't that the EGR valve is stuck, or that our passageways are plugged, or anything like that. The problem is the position sensor in the EGR valve isn't working anymore. It's stuck at one position. There, if we uh, stop the screen there. When I unhooked it there for a second, it did glitch a little bit. Right there, I think. Oh, right, right there. Just a little glitch when I was opening and closing it, but not the one to four and a half volt range or one to four volt range you should expect to see when grounding out the solenoid. So basically our problem is that is that our, our valve is working and our passageways are cleared, but uh, the position sensor in the EGR, EGR valve isn't good. And this is an aftermarket EGR valve. I think we just put this on here, like, probably within the last year, so we'll see if we can get some warranty on that. That was aftermarket. We, it's probably a bad decision to go with an aftermarket part. I think it's, a, it's just a Delphi or Delco EGR valve, so if you found one that's got the same, uh, the same ports, from say like a Grand Am or 
stuff like that, you could probably actually substitute it on here. I'm not sure if the, if it's going to be calibrated the same or not. It's best to get the get the OEM part and get it according to the VIN number of the vehicle. But again, if you a lot of times on these uh, these older imports, you're not going to have functional tests on your scanner, and you may even have very bad scan data. So using a scope or using a, and a grounding and using a uh, ground con using something to control the ground on the vehicle will uh, will suffice for for testing it to check the voltage range and to check whether or not it's functional so that's about it I guess for this video uh, yeah the real problem with these engines the 3.2 and I think it was a 3.5 was the other one I'm not really sure on that but uh, plastic these intake manifold the intake manifold sits on these plastic gaskets that uh, after a year or two of heating and cooling the plastic tends to crack and contract and if you do a smoke test you'll see all kinds of smoke coming out of here especially if you, if you have lean codes on one of these that tends to be the problem so I guess that's about it